Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you new, my name is Mignon Cobra and I make minimalist videos. So today's video is going to be me talking about why I decided to try OMAD and yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it, let's go! Um, I'm wearing the same clothes that I wore for my other video about budgeting in China but um, I like filming these in bulk and I just can't be bothered to go change my look so we're just we're just gonna roll with this. Would it be better if I put out my hair? Nah. So uh, yeah, today I'm gonna be talking about why I decided to try OMAD which is like um, the intermittent fasting form of uh, I think it's the 20, 23 and the 1, 1 hour feeding and 24 hours fasting. So uh, I tried it for a week. Um, yeah, I I find that's not, not, not really something for me. I actually ended up uh, bringing it down to doing two meals a day instead. So I'm just going to talk about why I decided to try it though. Okay, so let's talk about the why. So first, um, I did it based on insulin. I don't even know how I came across this. But I was like reading whatever, whatever, and then I discovered that they were talking about like the reason a lot of people fail diets, doing the whole like six small meals a day and constantly eating, and the reason that they fail and fall off and have binges and whatever is because you're fighting insulin. You can't win against your hormones. And I had, I have like the strongest discipline. So I would get through all of the things that I needed to do without binging because I had the discipline, but it sucked. Like, fighting the cravings is an awful feeling and always being hungry. Like, um, not starving, but like hungry, you know? For, for those of you out there who know what dieting is like, you guys know what I'm talking about. So the reason for this is insulin. So every time you eat a food, um, you spike your insulin in the next 10 minutes. And insulin is the feeling of wanting to eat. This is your body um, switching into uh, fat storing mode. So think of your body as a train. Um, it can only run on two modes. Can only run on one track at a time. You, um, so when you're feeding off your own fat, your body fat, that's one mode. When you switch and you start burning your own food, you switch. You can't do both at the same time. So when you trigger in insulin, you start storing fat. So whatever you just ate, your body stores it. You, goodbye burning off your own fat till it's gone down. And I think that occurs in the next four hours. So anyway, um, yeah, the reason I looked into intermittent fasting and like a longer state was because I was like, I watched this Dr. Berg or whatever, he's like um, this YouTuber and he was talking about how like about this, right? And it's insulin and that's why a lot of people have problems with dieting and all of this good stuff and different foods spike, you know, higher and lesser levels of insulin and all the symptoms that come with insulin. And I was like, wow, okay. So he was talking about how he does two meals, but I was like, if you spike insulin every time you eat, why don't I just spike it once and eat once and be done with it? So that's why I decided to try OMAD. Um, it didn't work out for me, so I'm doing the two meals. I'll take my two spikes. It kind of sucks though. I really don't like the spike that I get after lunch, but he's, um, he like talked about the different things that like don't spike it. So like you could eat a lot of vegetables and that'll have a really low spike. So I'm like, okay, I'll do that. So don't eat carbs, refined carbs and sugars that spikes your insulin harder because ins insulin is to, every time you have sugar in your body, your body makes insulin to try to combat the sugar. So the less sugar you have, the less insulin spike you'll have. So when I would have my insulin spike, I get drowsy and tired and lethargic and moody and, and cravings. So I'd finish eating and I'd be having cravings and I'd be like, just uh, didn't, just wasn't fun, you know? So, um, yeah, after I finished eating, sometimes I'd be like, I'd still be hungry after my meal, I'd still, I'd get sleepy, and I'd be lethargic, and I'd have headaches, um, and I'd be hungry, not hungry, it was like, uh, and sometimes I'm not, I wouldn't really be satisfied, and I just was kind of started to get obsessed with food, because you know when you're like trying to do something, and it's not working out, you start to think about how you can fix it, so I kind of got stuck being obsessed about food, and I just, I didn't want to deal with it, hence why I decided to try OMAD, I was like, could I just deal with one meal at a time? So anyway, um, yeah, so why I want you to try it, I'm just going to break it down into points. So number one, um, I wanted to eat only when I was hungry. So it kind of turned out, I tried it in some of the, the days that I tried it for that one week. Um, I found that I wasn't really hungry till like two or three. And that's like an awkward time between, it's like, it's past lunch, but it's not quite dinner. So that's why I was like, okay, I figured I would just make my OMAD my dinner. So I tried that. Um, and uh, it was okay, I guess, I suppose, I don't know, I did lose a lot of like body fat, like it was kind of insane how well it actually works. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. The next point that um, was when I did OMAD, I definitely had a lot clearer mind. Um, I didn't feel anywhere as tired as I used to be or having like weird brain fog that you get when your insulin spikes. I had a definitely like 
clear mind when I was doing it. Um, number three, uh, eating foods that didn't spike my insulin or not eating three times a day, you know, getting brain fog after breakfast and then again after lunch, you know, uh, I kind of found that if I didn't break my fast, I wasn't hungry up until I decided to break it, which I decided to break around lunchtime. So it was really nice not being hungry up until I ate, you know, as opposed to waking up starving and having breakfast and then being hungry all the way till lunch, like just didn't really feel like a way I wanted to live now that I kind of seen a different way of living. Uh, number four um, is that I wanted to stop being obsessed about every meal that I ate and being obsessed about the calories um, because to the more frequent you eat, the more calories you consume, right? Um, so like, yeah, I kind of was tired of having to like make sure I ate very little for this meal so I could still have enough calories for my next second meal and then my third meal. Um, I did try shoving all 1,000 calories into one meal and my second meal or even just my OMAD meal, but it was it was just too damn hard. Like I just couldn't do it, which is funny because there's been plenty of times when I have eaten like full meals. Um, back when I feasted frequently, I could clock in like a to 700 calories per meal but once I, I ate less frequently my stomach kind of shrank and trying to shove in a thousand calories into one meal was just it's not happening even with like me drinking a drink you know it just yeah it was nice not being obsessed about calories so what I do now is like I'm not obsessed about calories I just I eat healthy and I eat my lunch and my dinner and whatever calories that may be I, that, that that's it you know the fifth thing is uh, a lot of time is wasted meal prepping once I cut out breakfast that was a lot of meal prep meal prep time gone and same thing with lunch because I had to have to when I meal prep I'd only have to meal prep for lunch and dinner so I it was a lot less time spent meal prepping so that just it's a lot it's really nice not having to constantly be meal prepping it's just you feel so exhausted like after I had finished like banging pots and pans and doing everything that I needed to do and then finally sit down and then like, just be so tired you don't even have the energy to like video edit or even watch tv I could just be like I'm tired and drowsy and uh, and I'd be rushing everything you know but now I feel like now that I'm not wasting my time meal prepping so much it's it's really nice like I have time for like me time and like solid me time like I'm talking like several hours of me time and it is really nice uh number six um OMAD was kind of nice um using my mental discipline like I'm a very disciplined person so it was really nice practicing that like if I'm not like, if I told myself I'm only going to eat when I'm hungry, it was really nice to actually just eat when I was hungry, you know? It felt really nice. I felt like I was, like, doing myself a favor, you know? Like, if I'm not hungry, I don't have to gorge or stuff myself only because of social convention that says that I need to eat at a certain time. You can't quit food. So, number seven, like, I want to talk about, like, alcoholics when they have, like... Because I sometimes have binging episodes. Um, alcoholics and addicts, uh, you know, like with an addiction and like addiction to food and addiction to substances, um, you can quit alcohol and you can quit drugs and you can never not ever have to touch it again. And there's like, there's a pride in knowing that you've never touched it for X amount of years and so it motivates you to keep going. But you cannot quit food. You know, I there were times when I just wish I didn't have to eat anymore because I was just so done with all of the crap that came with eating you know so OMAD kind of was the closest thing to quitting food you know I didn't have to eat except for my one meal and then I could just eat guilt free calorie free I mean like not have to calorie compensate and, and and all that stuff I could just throw it out the window and just do me you know so I that's what I really liked about OMAD it turned out not to be very realistic for me after I tried it for a week um I like to have uh my simple lunch and then like my dinner um because like I don't know I like the social convention of like eating lunch and I like eating it with Will. I didn't like watching Will eat lunch and I just sit there staring. I wasn't hungry but I sit there staring and I hated it. So now if I happen to miss lunch, that's fine, that's okay. Sometimes that happens and I'm okay with it. But if I'm gonna, you know, chill and eat my lunch in my room, I am totally for that. So yeah, but yeah, what I wanted to say was having cut breakfast was really nice because I wake up really early. I wake up at 6.30. So from 6.30 to 12, I have a solid six hours of no food, no calorie counting, no guilt, no nothing. And I can just do what I got to do. And it was just oh, such, such a breath, breath of fresh air. And number eight, um, also I wanted to do it for my body and my health. Um, I have some stubborn fat that I kind of wanted to like shed, but I didn't want to calorie calorie cut you know because I was like that's that's not good because, so don't get the uh, wrong idea that like I don't um, what do you call it 
that I eat, I, even though I do like my intermittent fasting, I still clock in my calories, you know, like I still eat good portions. I don't, I don't restrict and I still have, you know, a moderation, you know, have a cookie or a snack or whatever. Um, but yeah, for like number eight, that, um, yeah, the stubborn body fat, um, I figured if the body's on the track where it's burning the body fat and it's already been burning it all the way through um, the night, why not give it that extra six hours in the morning and let it just naturally burn off and I don't have to be slaving away on the treadmill or going crazy about what I eat, you know, and I just let let, let my body run its course and I, and I wanted my body to have time to like, you know, repair itself like this let the cells regenerate like my hair has been growing really fast and my nails are really long um they're growing really long and it's because my body has more time to like rest and digest and it's just it's been really good and i can feel like the fat off my body coming off like that like stubborn fat like that that little belly pouch and the little saddlebag fat that sometimes i get when i don't really watch my diet so yeah it's for all of these reasons i've been like definitely like enjoying um you know intermittent fasting whether it be my two meal or my OMAD um yeah so I kind of want to sum it up what are the benefits so one I have definitely saved time cooking and meal prepping number two I have less stress and less anxiety about food and I'm less obsessed number three I've saved money um yeah what my meal prep used to cost me like 30 to 40 renminbi I spent seven dollars now instead because I only have to make vegetables for lunch because dinner I uh, maybe I might have something non-vegetable you know so it's, it's a lot cheaper. Um, I experienced less blurry vision because insulin spikes cause uh, increased ocular pressure. So I've definitely been experiencing less um, blurry vision. Um, the next thing is I'm a lot less groggy, a decrease in grogginess. And another one is a decrease in brain fog. I definitely have a lot more clarity. So um, yeah, if you want to do more research on the effects, like I read that like um, intermittent fasting has like different effects on women than it does on men and stuff like that. So I'm still monitoring it and seeing how my body goes. Like um, I just recently started doing this like a couple, like a week. So I'm still going to see how this goes and plays out. But I just wanted to talk about the whys about why I decided to do, you know, my two mealer and my OMAD. So oh, oh mad, mad. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to hit the subscribe button, um, I would greatly appreciate it. That will definitely help support my channel. And I will catch you guys in my next video. So until then, thank you for having watched. Mwah. Bye!